Good afternoon, everyone. It's Matt Prasant over here at Kia of Columbia, Missouri, getting you some information on the all new 2022 Kia Telluride S all wheel drive. So, what's new first and foremost? The emblem. Got this nice gloss black grill to match it on to. The strongest brand just got stronger. Really loving the new emblem on the front and back, as well as the steering wheel. But uh, up front, you can see you got some nice white LED daytime running lights with projector beam headlights. Get a 20 inch wheel set with the S model. Nice little sunroof up above. Turn indicators on the mirrors, blind spot monitors, remote start, keyless entry. Got your privacy glass on all your rear windows here. This comes with a manual lift gate. Also, you got your rear parking sensors. Take note that the S badge is no longer on the back. You've got a cleaner design. All focus is going towards this new emblem right here. I guarantee you that's why they did that. I like to speculate on these things, don't you guys? So, just wrapping around here again. Same beautiful vehicle. You've even got new center caps as well. Something I did not notice on the EX Premium I just got done filming. This one is also spoken for. Everybody give a big congrats to Brandon in the comments here. All of our Tellurides do come pre-sold. So, congratulations, Brandon. This one's here, he already knows. Let's go ahead and take a peek inside, see what this Telluride has to offer now on the S level. Leaving the plastic in because, as you all know, ye doth not touch the plastic that is not theirs unless ye are willing to face the wrath of YouTube comments. We've got power locks, windows, and mirrors here. Uh, all four windows are automatic. Nice combo window child lock. We've got more storage in the doors. S model still gets you a nice 10-way adjustable power driver's seat. Leather, also still a standard feature on all Tellurides. This is the Sofino that's shared with the LX. To the left here, we've got dash illumination, blind spot, lane keep assistance, and traction control with a leather wrapped steering wheel that tilts and telescopes for you. We're gonna hop in here and enjoy one of the newest additions of standard features to the S model, which is automatic climate control. The LX and S receive some great standard feature upgrades, so everybody, no matter what trim level that you go with, gets that extra quality and convenience level. So again, leather wrap steering wheel, nice little badging here on the steering wheel. This is all the same. Uh, for those of you that don't know though, entertainment's gonna be on the left-hand side here. Um, all of your driving and information tools will be on the right. So we've got voice recognition, audio sources, can change volume or mute it. These treaded buttons here are going to be pressable on each side. Uh, Bluetooth answering any calls. Left hand wand will control your automatic high beams, which you do have on here. Uh, this does not have high beam assist. Everybody take note of that. We do not have high beam assist on the S model. Okay, still don't have that. But you do have blind spot monitors keeping an eye out for you along with the lane keep. Smart Cruise is still standard, and with that, lane following assistance will turn on once you use the Smart Cruise. Um, on the right-hand side, since we're focused in on here, um, it's gonna be all your driving and information tools. You've got this little page button and OK lever that's pressable to control your drive display. And on here, you can see fuel economy information, your drive info, digital speedometer, your different drive modes. You've got uh, your turn-by-turn -turn directions on here since you've got navigation standard now, um, as well as some of your different safety screens and systems where you can turn that on, all-wheel drive systems, tire pressure monitoring. It's, it's really cool what you can all do on this little drive display. And then all of your different settings that you can control as well. Just getting some of our vents turned down here. So, um, lots to do in here for sure. Right hand one will control your front and rear wipers for you. 
And then over here, we've got cruise control. Turn this on, set your cruising speed, then you can choose four different following distances. And then from there, uh, the Telluride will maintain a gap, brake and accelerate for you, automatically steer. I mean, it's it's so nice to drive one of these down the highway. And that's why people love these Tellurides. You get all this standard, it's standard. You don't have to go top end to get that. So really cool. All right, that's it for the driving area. Woo, up above, we've got sunroof. This is what you get on the S. This tilts and telescopes here, or tilts and slides manual sunshade, UVO link, still standard, sunglass holder, standard rear view mirror here. Um, what is standard now on the S and all trims is your 10.25 inch screen with navigation. So again, just go into that class, your look, no more buttons or anything, or just less buttons, nice large screen angled towards the driver in that you see in a lot of higher end vehicles. So uh, once you dig in here, you've got your map, navigation, phone, phone projection for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You can record voice memos, put the vehicle in a valet mode, which turns most of these cool things off. Uh, you can track it, it more closely from your phone from there as well uh, with your Uvo Link services. You've got passenger talk. You can turn your vehicle into a PA system. What's up? Love that. And then you can turn it off with this little button right here. Um, uh oh, turned on the radio. But, uh, you know, from there, you can also set shortcuts. Like if you want to have passenger talk on the fly, just set it to this star button right here. You can set any app to this button right here, which is pretty cool. But heading back out over here, another family feature, you've got quiet mode. You can reduce all the volume down to seven and just put it to the front speakers. Rear climate, you've got your different uh, media outlets as well. But here's the home screen. Nice little combination menu of, uh, you know, weather, radio, time, and your map in the background. And you've got these nice large vents, analog controls, uh, automatic climate control is also now standard on the S, so no more knobs manually adjusting. Just set your temperature, let the Telluride worry about it for you because it auto defogs, dehumidifies, I mean, does everything for you. So again, just more convenience for Telluride owners, loving it. Three-step heated seats right here. You've got your charging underneath, which is concealable. All the piano black is mostly concealed by all of the plastic that 50% of you detest me removing beforehand. So, uh, wireless charging, also now standard on LX and S. Your MSRP increases are being seen from this, this, and this mainly. This right here is where that $1,500 increase is coming from. Higher trim models, not so much of a big thing. Here's your food for thought. So, uh, shifter is the same, still got the same 3.8 V6 paired up to an eight speed automatic. You've got your different drive modes, smart, sport, comfort, eco, and snow. Smart mode will switch between these three automatically for you. And you've got your all wheel drive lock or a dedicated snow mode as well. You've got your driving features, start stop technology. Telluride is going to be uh, looking out for you, trying to save you some gas when it can, when you're at a full stop. It's going to measure first though, interior cabin temperature and engine temperature. If those two things are no good, then it's not gonna turn the car off. So you people in those more unbearable climates, Telluride's not gonna let you just freeze or burn up in there. So smart car, use it, save some fuel, reduce your carbon footprint. You've got auto holes, love this, using the wide angle. We're gonna turn this feature on. We're gonna see the text come on in the tachometer there. I'm gonna put the vehicle in drive. Text turns green. I can remove my foot from the brake. It's holding itself in place now. Don't have to worry about it. So we'll put that back in park. Really love that feature. You're seeing that standard on a lot of cars now. Cup holders, center console, extra sunglass holder tray, lockable glove box, which is felt lined for you. And yeah, that's gonna be it for the front seating area. Visors, of course, are mirrored, lit, have a clip, these telescope for you too. Let's go ahead and check out second row, third row. Second row, S model is gonna get you some captain's chairs. You've got one touch easy slide seating to access your third row where you can see three more people. You have rear armrests here, these lower down and ratchet up into place exactly where you need them to be. You've got dual rear cargo bags and netting. You also have USB ports right here. 
as well as grocery hooks on the back of both seats. Cup holders, another 12 volt outlet, rear climate controls, rear lighting, rear ventilation. You have ventilation up above and down below on all three rows. Everybody's nice and comfortable. Digging in here with the one touch slide. If we come back here, you can see we've got more cup holders and more USB ports. Everybody has charging back here. Uh, woo! You also have your latch system in the third row as well as on these captain's chairs. So you can put uh, car seats and boosters anywhere that you need to be and everybody will be safe and secure. Heading back to the rear tailgate here. S model still has a manual lift gate here. Got to go up to your EX to get the power lift gate. Actually, EX premium. Um, so here, cloth mats, front bracket. Man, I just bought my 80 inch TV. Where am I going to put it? Well, if you're by yourself and you just made that big purchase, or if you're at Costco, Sam's Club, wherever, buying a bunch of stuff, okay? All right, man, that's, that's, that's small talk though. We got to pump this up. I need more cargo space, no problem. Press right here, boom. Both those seats fold down too. You can see we've got tons of cargo space now. You've got another cubby here, 12 volt outlet, another storage spot here. If you need to have the third row seats up, you can take this board, put it in this slot here, and let it sit there, give yourself some extra volume. And here, you've got spare tire access, roadside tools as well. So, um, man, talk about a sweet ride. And that's gonna be it. Again, rear parking sensors back here, nice backup camera also included, standard with the vehicle. Let's go ahead and take a peek at our passenger seat. It's gonna be four-way adjustable. A little bit of extra side storage right there. But that is going to wrap it up for this 2022 Telluride S in all-wheel drive. Guys, make sure you like and share this video with your friends and family. Uh, make sure you leave a comment if you have any compliments or questions. Definitely subscribe hit that notification bell to stay updated with all of the informational and shopping material that I provide to you guys. Um, other than that, if you're looking for help with a Telluride, I do sell them. I do work here. I sell them for MSRP. If you guys are researching these, you probably know the deal. It's not like that everywhere. Contact me. I work with people nationally on these rides and I'd love to help you make it a quick and easy transparent experience which is what everybody looks for thanks again this is matt croissant kia of columbia missouri i hope y'all are having a great day and if you enjoyed this video if it helped you make a big buying decision or purchase but you didn't do it with me and you'd like to thank me use that tip jar y'all it's there i appreciate you thank you